What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Minnesota Wild. So we're picking up where we left off uh, just starting this new season 16 6 and 2. And a um, couple things that we wanted to try out, I think. So with the lines I think I want to try Mitchell try to switch into like sniper or something. Just cuz how he's built I mean, maybe he'd be better, like, to be a two-way forward with the way he's built. But, yeah, I don't know. So, it's either sniper or two-way forward I want to turn him into. Because he's definitely, definitely not a power forward. So, I'm not too sure. I guess I'll try him as a sniper first. And then, if that doesn't work out, we can always change him to a two-way forward or something. Uh, McArdle, on the other hand, he can stay a uh, power forward, definitely. He's got the, uh, he's got the power forward more of the power forward type stats so i think that's what i want to try out just to see if that'll change up his play style see if we can get him to produce a bit more or something so let me do that real quick and might even change his position as well if he's because we're going to be playing him on the right right wing side i think for now all right anyway where do i go okay here he is gotta go over here all right abraham mitchell let's see where is he at where are you at, though? No. Uh, shoot. Can I? Okay, that'll be easier. All right. Power forward. We're going to switch that. I don't think this guy's a power forward. I mean, the, the hitting category really, really does it for me. Nice hair. He's number 97, too. <laughs> Who does he think he is? <laughs> All right. So, switch him to a uh, sniper, I guess, for now. I, get, I don't know. That's, that's the best thing I got. And then, chain to a right winger. Because we're going to be playing him on the right side for most of the time right now, I think. We'll see. Anyway, we can play him as, as that for now. We can always switch that back. Alright, so let's save that. And let's see if that changes up his play style at all. I'm not too sure that it will, but people are saying that it will. So, we're going to try that. And uh, I think that's it for now. McArdle, we are playing him on the left wing side. I might want to... Nah. Oh, I guess it can't hurt. I guess I'll change to a left wing here. Because we're using him right now as a left wing. We'll see if that does anything. I don't know if that does that much, but we'll see. If it does, I mean, if it, they seem to all play better, then maybe I do should start switching people's positions more, like, as to where they're actually playing, but I don't know. I don't know that that will make much of a difference, but here we go. Okay, so we did that, and... From there, I think uh, we're going to switch up that power play a bit. Or, sorry, the uh, penalty kill here. Because um, I got I got the third and fourth liners on it. Because usually that's what I like to build through my penalty kills. Because they're good <laughs> at that. Dano is... He's been an excellent penalty killer pretty much every every single franchise I've had. Um, Gauthier is looking good. Dude, I mean, they all, they all have great defensive stats. But something's not working here. So we could try some other guys out. Mitchell's really good defensively. He's got high stick checking, which I really like, so I might try him out, which so I think I will. Uh, Kunin, again, pretty good, but the awareness is low, so maybe not. Maybe you don't want Kunin on there for now. Try someone else out. So I will. Look for uh, the other power forward. Let's see McArdle's stats. Um, kind of weird. I want to see Tanev, because someone mentioned Tanev should be penalty kill. Mm, I, I guess I don't know. It kind of kind of very similar in a lot of ways to the other guys. Better stick checking. That's pretty much it, though. Let's see. Lombardi's pretty damn good. I think we've tried him before and it didn't seem to work, at least in the playoffs. So I don't know. Maybe I should keep someone else in there. I guess I I can still try Gauthier. Yeah, let's let's still try him. Let's put him on the first though with uh, Dano. So we're going to try this out. Jet Wu is probably not good for the PK. I'm sure he's really bringing him down. But I need to give him extra ice time somewhere. So, yeah, we're just going to have to roll with that. However, for, for three-man, I might keep Dubinsky off three-man. Or the five-on-three. Maybe. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what I can do here. Kunin, no, we don't want Kunin. Erickson, I don't think he's great enough. Let's see Couture's stats. Uh, yeah, that might work. Gauthier can't take face-offs, so it's not really 
that big a deal. You know what? Let me put Couture. Dano, maybe, but let me see if I can find someone slightly better. Now, I know someone was saying to try Glenn Denning out for someone else. And I might do that. He is pretty damn good. And he can take face-offs. He would be great for that penalty kill. So let me see. Maybe instead of... I mean, damn, Brown, you'd think, would be good on penalty kill as well. We could try him out. I mean, he's got 88. I think it... But I don't know. He doesn't have great face-offs, so I can't really use him on the three-man. I want to keep trying Gauthier, because those defensive stats are outstanding. Yeah. Alright, well... We'll keep Couture. I, uh, I guess I can keep Dano. But... Is there anyone here with decent face-offs? You've got decent... I might try Lombardi for the three-man. Just because he's got okay face-offs, and his defensive stats are pretty damn good. So we'll try him still. Hmm. I've got it. The pairing's a little switched here. Let's try that. Let's do the same pairings. All right. I don't know if it'll work, but it can't be getting much worse. So we're gonna try a few different combinations till we can find something that works. I've had worse penalty kills that like well, worse defensive players on penalty kills that have done better. It's just it's just a matter of finding the right kind of the right guys, I guess. So anyway, uh, I think that's pretty much it. I think we're ready to keep simming here. Yeah, I think so. All right, so let's see if Abraham Mitchell is better as a sniper. Hopefully he is. He's got really good offensive stats, so yeah. Either way, he should have been getting more production. So let's try to let's try to boost him here. Keep Erickson over there. Keep him there. All right, looks good. Okay. Let's keep simming here. Hopefully Niederreiter can pick up too because he was uh, slack. Slack on that first line. All right, so let's get a month on here. There we go. Uh, December 1st, cool. All right, we get a win against St. Louis 6-3. A win against Anaheim 2-1. All right, so it starts off good. Let's see if we can string together some Ws. We lose to Buffalo in regulation by one goal. That hurts, and we lose another. Okay, we got to bounce back here. Okay, three-game losing streak. Four game losing streak. Okay, there you go. Bit worrying right there, especially with the lack of production. Ugh. Is it possible we're playing worse? Because we are. We're not scoring a lot. What's going on here? Come on, Minnesota. We're way too good for this. We make our team better. Uh, and it just makes us worse. Wait, we're doing goalies, huh? Yeah. Oof. Yeah, not scoring enough at all. What the hell? Yeah, even when we win, we're only winning by like one and we're only getting two goals. Jesus, not scoring enough. Fully healed. He wasn't even really injured. This is a bad month. All right, we win right there, but not enough goals. Not enough goals throughout that entire month. Yeah, I mean, six goals, then two goals, then... Two goals, one goal, one goal, three goals, three goals, one goal, two goals, two goals, one goal, two goals, one goal. No, 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 no. Not good enough. This team should be way, way better than that. You guys are way better than that. Yeah, and it just showed. Yeah, Lombardi's way down there. Uh, what's going on here? All right, looks like five on five combination need to get fixed as well. Yeah, we dropped down to third. Oh, yeah. Goals for dropped way down. Goals against got slightly better. Power play. Penalty kill, I, I think, got better. It was at 75, I think. So we're going to keep it going. Ouch. Away record's really bad. Last 10, 5-5-0, five, five oh, yeah. And uh, we're hanging in. Wow. Winnipeg just flew right up there. And all of a sudden, we are way down here in third place now. Not a good month for us. Not a good month for us. Let's see about this production. What's going on? Erickson's doing five, Tonev's doing five, Couture's doing okay, Mitchell, I think he got better. Yeah. I think he kind of started getting better. He took, a, he's taking, he's catching back up in shots now. He looks like he's in seventh, so, I don't know, it's still kind of early, but at least he's scoring goals. Nieder, what the hell is Niederreiter doing, man? Only 20 points and, yeesh. 
Niederreiter, we need a lot more out of you, man. A lot more out of you. Yeah, just not something we're just not scoring enough. Hmm. Weird. Lombardi's kind of having to... He shoots a lot anyway, but he's... Yeah, he's kind of having to be the uh, main scorer on this line. Then, But they're kind of all hybrid, too, because Couture's kind of hybrid. Niederreiter's the one that we want to goal score, and he's just not doing much of anything. Huh. Well, it could be a fluky month, so we can go a bit of the next month with these lines and see if we can get them better. But yeah, I don't know. And it's, what's really weird is our... Our first pairing are minuses. That's trippy. But whatever. Goaltenders. Gibson needs to do better. Yeah. Need some better work out of Gibson. Alright, well. Not ideal, but let's 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 give it a bit more chance here. Let's give him a bit more chance. If if we still are kinda slacking, I will I'll check out the lines again and see if we could mix them up, do get a bit more. All right, so let's see how we do in this month. If we falter, if we lose like three games in a row, or like, yeah, or if it just seems like we're still not scoring enough, I will definitely change it. Just find something here. Because we're at that point, we're just trying to find line combinations. Oh my god, wow, what's up with our defense? If we lose this game, I'm switching this. Okay, we win. Come on, guys, win, win this game too. We can't, we can't keep falling. Or at least scoring a bit more. We lose that. I say that and then we get bad loss. Okay. It's better. It is better. A lot more goal scoring here overall. Even the games we lost, we had three goals forward, four goals forward. We just defense dropped the ball. Okay, four goals four and a win. That's good. Edmonton's a decent team. What do we got for him? All right. Scouting, goaltenders, one week. Ugh, get shut out. Ugh, come on, guys. Can't be losing to these crappy... T oh, my God. Come on. What is happening? Ugh. And this team is not able to get going. We have, like, bursts of good stuff, and then we just go back to being utter shit. Ugh. Frustrating. 28-20-2. Not an acceptable record for this team. Not an acceptable record. Where are we in the division? Still third, but only by a point out of the wild card. And production's gone completely out the window. Now Lombardi is la- What the hell? He- Ugh! What is ha What is wrong? There's something wrong with this chemistry here. Yeah, our, our goals four keeps dropping. It's not okay. Goals four keeps going way, 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 way down. Yeah, Lombardi dropped- I mean, he only got a couple- And it was old goals. No assists. No one else can help him score. Niederreiter's not doing his job. At all. I got I'm taking Niederreiter off that line. I have to. Yeah, he's he's not getting the job done. I'm gonna put Mi I'm gonna put Mitchell up there. He's 86 overall now. I'm gonna throw him up there. I don't even care if he's not listed there. He's need a rider not getting the job done at all. It's your contract year too. You are under the microscope. <sighs> I'd almost be tempted to move up Erickson on that line too. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move up Erickson onto the top line to play with Lombardi. And I'm probably going to put up also Mitchell. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move down Kachurin somewhere. Yeah, it's it's not working. It's not good enough. We need way... We should be getting way more production than we are. Well, defenseman. Yeah. Okay. They're still... Ah, oh, damn. That first line still minuses heavily, too. And Gibson is... Jesus! Even Gibson's playing horribly. Yeah, we're just, everything's kind of in a funk right now for us, so, okay. What can we do here? <sighs> it's just not working. Team's not working right now. It's okay, could you get the fuck out? Oh, Lombardi's 92 overall, hi. Uh, we're doing this. So, this is going to be our first line now. Lombardi, Erickson, and Mitchell. Gonna try that out. Okay, this guy's not quite listed as first line. Once he is, he'll probably repl be replacing Erickson. But yeah, uh, whatever's going on, it's not good. Niederreiter, Couture, they're all slack. Everyone's slacking, kind of. So what we're gonna try to do is, since Lombardi's kind of being a bit of a goal scorer here, we're gonna give him Erickson, who's a brilliant assist man, and Abraham Mitchell, who's another goal scorer. 
because it seemed to work with Erickson. Yeah, it just seemed to work because Tanev was being like the hybrid. Erickson was the playmaker. Mitchell was the goal scorer. Let's see how this will work here. Yeah, we got two goal scorers, but I think Lombardi can fall back into that hybrid role now. That's what we're hoping for, at least. Bokefist, come on, man. Please grow. Need you to, need you to keep growing here. All right, power play. You know what? Let's, let's switch up the power play, too. Let's give Tanev... Let's do this. Tanev, Lombardi, Mitchell for the top line power play. Kutcher probably has better face off slightly, yeah. We're going to try that for this. Uh, don't know how it'll work, but we'll see. In fact, I'm kinda, I kind of don't want Tanev up here. Yeah, you know what? We're going to try that. Yeah. Because Tanev's... Yeah, we're going to try that. I'm, I'm trying Erickson up on this. Because he seems to be the guy right now. He seems to be the guy. So we're going to try that out for the power play. Huh. <sighs> All right, see if this spark will do, do something here. All right, we're going to check out progress reports because we just had quite a bit of growth right there. I mean, that was, yeah, that was a lot. A lot of growth. So let's see what's going on. Lombardi already got five ticks of, of overall growth. That is a lot. And he's now 92 overall. Passing's at 93. Awareness is at 94. He's a beast. Uh, his shot got even better. His wrist shot's out of this world. Uh, defensively, he's pretty solid. Great skater, yeah, and he's got that physical game. Great durability. Wow, 97. Yep, we just need to get him going a bit more. And Mitchell's got some growth as well. Two ticks of overall. Passing got better. Awareness is already good. Uh, wrist shot got slightly better, which is good. That's where he's weak. Uh, defense got better, and skating got a bit better. Still no physical game to him. It's all right, though. Uh, McArdle, he grew slightly. It's not really doing too much, though, for us. I know I got him down on the line, but he's still got power play time. So, help out. Uh, and Tanev's got some growth as well. Handine Deakins up there. Awareness got better. Yeah, his passing and awareness aren't the greatest. But he's got good shot. Good stick checking, too. That'll be important for the future. And he's a great skater. He's got really good body checking. Not much aggressiveness, though. All right. Good stuff. And now growth down here. Thornton's holding on. Oh my goodness, hello. <laughs> Rich Morrison. Is that 11 ticks of growth? Wow, that is a lot. Yep, that's a lot. I don't think anyone's going to win the growth thing because I don't think I saw this guy's name up. Wow. Rich Morrison. That's a lot of growth. 11. All right, awareness is getting up there. Good shot, good defense. He's grown just evenly across the board. How do you kind of want and expect the two-way forward to grow? Looking good. Peacock's got four ticks of growth there down in the juniors. Kempinen's got seven. <laughs> the hell? This guy didn't even really... He's a bottom six guy. Eh, whatever. We'll see what he turned... What is his defense looking like? Eh, it's all right. Shishkinov, pretty good. Nazarov's got a bit of growth. Red top six playmaker's got some. Kiskinen, not much. Uh, Hedekin... Hunt. Where's all my other main guys? Huh, they're doing all right. And is Chiquizzi still sitting there with nine? Yeah, I think that's the same. But we got a lot of goalie growth. Unfortunately, it's not really the guys we want. Or the guy we want, which is Chiquizzi. But overall, good growth. Really good growth overall. Okay, keep it going. Going to keep things going here. All right, hopefully these new lines do something for us. I'm hoping they do. I, I'm, we're just trying to get guys going, man. So we're going to go up to the deadline here. That came up quick. Yeah, and we are... The record is not ideal. So come on, come on, Minnesota. There we go. Winning overtime. That's okay. Beat Anaheim. We got to beat these... We got to beat these crappy teams. We have to beat these guys, man. There you go. We have to get the points where we can get them. Losing these games is tough. Um, Dylan Hetherington, depth guy. Mm, he's okay. But we don't really need him. We have a depth guy. Yeah, he's not out of this world, so no. Here we go, another win. Come on, Minnesota. We need to just win, 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 win right now. All right, lost, but we get a point. We need more goal scoring. Come on now, we got to get our guys going. We're just struggling all around. 
All right, well, something's happening. We get a win. Okay. All right, they're one of they want to give us Irving. They want to give us a second for a top six guy as well as a fourth. What? Mm, I don't think so. But let's see. What kind of player is Irving? He's a red top six, red playmaking top six. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't be opposed to this. But we don't need to draft that heavily. He is only 62 at 20. That's very true. You know what? Remove the four. Can I just go straight up for the second? <laughs> Idiots. Yeah, okay. I'll take that. That's fine. That guy's not going to turn out to be much. We get a second out of it. That's pretty good. Could turn into a yellow top six. All right, there, there's a win. That's a nice little win. 62 victory. Got the goal scoring. Uh, and then we lose to a crappy team. Minnesota. Come on now. We got to beat these teams, man. We really got to beat those shitty teams when they come our way. Those are easy points, and we're squandering it. Squandering those points, man. <sighs> Lost again. We get a point, but we need wins. All right, there's a win, but man, so inconsistent this team right now. There's a big win. Winnipeg's a tough team. We wait. We beat them though. All right, so we had two big wins against divisional opponents right there. That's that's good for us, but it's gonna be hard to catch Winnipeg still. All right, let's check out this area. Okay, so here we are at the deadline, 36, 22, and 4. It's still a pretty good record. I am being a little nitpicky. That's because, well, we have a lot of good guys now. All right, so at least Lombardi's now back to 45 points, but still, I expected him to have a lot, be on a way better pace. A way better pace. I really did. But, uh, so we're in second in the division now. Or, sorry, third in the division. But way high above the wild card. So we're looking good in that regard, at least. Goals four. I should, we, should be, we should be scoring way more. I, I don't know. We should be scoring way more than that. Goals against should be better as well. Power play, I think that kind of slipped. I think that slipped. Well, it's, it's kind of always declining, but I think it slipped even more. Penalty keel keeps getting better, at least. Our away record. Wow, we're terrible on the road. Amazing on home ice. Absolutely god-awful on the road. 16, 15, and all. Like 500 on the road. That's not okay. 7, 1, and 2. That's good in the last 10 at least, but... Hmm. Alright, well, Lombardi's getting good points. Erickson, I think it's kind of working. Couture. Uh, there's Mitchell there. 36 points, 22 goals. I, I don't know. Is it working? I don't know. Niederreiter. They, everyone seems to be doing better with the new lines, though. Yeah. Tanev's kind of... I don't know. Meh. I, I don't know. He's not doing too well. I don't know. It's just weird. We just, Certain guys just not seeming to get going. Hmm. I mean, Erickson's doing great, but I dude, he's just not good enough to be on a top line in the future. He's amazing with those damn... If we can get him statistical growth, though, then maybe he'd work. But I, I don't know. He's exactly the kind of player I need, just a consummate playmaker. But we're just not quite getting enough from everyone. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, these point totals are really, really not good. I mean, Tanev's not even on pace for 50 points. Like, what? He, sh he should easily be on pace for 50 points on, on a team like this. Huh. It's like he needs a bit more of a... I don't know. I don't know. It's it's weird. We're just... They're not quite working well together yet. And we haven't quite found what works. Yeah, this McArdle guy's still growing. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be much of anything. 158 shots is quite a bit. I mean, he's shooting a lot now. He's not scoring, but he's shooting. Like, that's good and all, but if you're not scoring with it, he's got a great shot. He should score more, but I don't know. Don't know. I love Lombardi's shots. It's great. Mitchell, same kind of deal. Good good amount of shots taken. Huh. I don't know, though. Just don't know. 
Oh, wow. This guy's got bad... Wow, what is wrong with you? Why do you have a lot... He's losing morale. Is it, is it ice time? No, it's an individual performance. Well, that's on you, bud. I got you on the power play. You got, you got, you're taking plenty of shots. That's on you. Maybe I'd change into a two-way forward or something. I'm considering it. Even though, you know, he's big and all, but if, if you, if it'll work better as a two-way forward, then I'll do it. I don't know. It just seems like power forwards, I just never, ever able to get him to work. So maybe changing that guy to a two-way forward would be beneficial in some way. He'd still lay the body a lot because he's got, was well, aggressive and this is low. How many hits does this guy have? 101. That's quite a lot, actually. He's lined up with Lombardi. It's a decent amount, especially for that third line. I think he's actually... He's tied for first. So, yeah, maybe change him to a two-way forward would be beneficial. I don't know. All I know is... we're It's not quite perfect yet. You know, we, we still... We're still trying to find the combinations that'll work. We still we need another playmaker like Erickson. We don't have that. We have a bunch of hybrids, Tanev, Kachur. We don't we need we don't have an Erickson type player. And we just Yeah, our chemistry is just not quite there yet. I love what Lombardi's doing. I wish he got a few more assists, but you know what, with that shot, I'm not too upset. And he shoots a lot, you know? So he's already a twenty goal scorer, might get thirty goals. I I just don't know. It's I still feel like he should be doing more. We are getting a lot of points from our defense, yeah, but still. We're not scoring enough. I mean, we're below three goals a game. With this team, I don't. I feel like we should never be below three goals per game. And Gibson is lackluster, to say the least, as our goalie. Yeah, he's not great. And Kakinen is actually below the, point to, uh, the points I want him. He's got 21 games played and only 20 points for us. So he is underachieving right now. The entire team, I feel like, is underachieving. Definitely. We're just definitely underachieving right now. Hmm. And I don't know what to do to kind of spark it. It's interesting, though. Yeah, Tanev... Being a bit of a disappointment, I'm not going to lie. Tanev right now is a bit of a disappointment. I know his offensive stats aren't incredible, but... Hmm. With the guys he's playing with, Kutcher, Niederreiter, there's not, they're not bad. That line just should be doing more, and they're not. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know what to make of it. But yeah, let me know. Should I try... Maybe switch McArdle to like uh, two way forward or something. I don't know. Would that work? I mean, he's getting Dano's got more points than the dude. Yeah. <sighs> Trying to find the right combinations here. That's the hardest part, man. You can get all the good players. You you just got to find the way they work best, and that's that's really the challenge. Just trying to find. Wow, Winnipeg is out of this world. Ninety points. What, what is even like? I just got to see what their team is like. They're just crazy. What the hell? What the hell? Seriously? This is the lines. Just, how should I feel like that many? What the? Their power play must be just like stacked. Okay, they must have like one of the best power plays. They have to. Because those point totals don't make... Like, Shifley with all that, and then these guys are that trash? The hell? Yeah, no, it ha... What the hell? Yeah, the power play is just out of this world. Jeez. They've got the weirdest lines, though. I don't get it. And they're... Def what the hell? Their defense is... Their defense is terrible. Jesus, Hellebuck got a shit ton of statistical growth, and he keeps going up there. He's playing great. Like, yeah, Hellebuck... Turned out to be great. And they have, okay, Comrie has a freaking backup. That makes a lot of sense why there should be. But, damn, these lines make zero sense to me. And they work for them. But it's just, they're, they, they're getting all their goals on the power. That's so weird. That's so weird. Huh. I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. But it works for them. So, all right. Weird. Okay. Well, let's see how we're doing here. Do we get our 
Oh, wait, did I, <laughs> did I, did I check our team stats? I feel like I didn't check them all the way through. Maybe I did. I'll, I'll, I'll know the minute I see it. No, yeah, I checked them. Yeah, yeah, I checked them. All right, well, here we are at the deadline. Maybe I'm being too nitpicky, but I, I still feel like our certain guys are underachieving. And maybe I'm just looking into it too much. You guys can kind of be the, uh, be the regulators here. Am I, am I expecting too much of these guys or am I being fair? Cause I don't think I'm expecting too much out of them. I think they should be performing better in a lot of ways, especially goal scoring. I think we should be way better goal scoring wise. But yeah. Lombardi didn't grow much. Uh, no, not much change. Same thing with Mitchell. I don't think. His awareness maybe went up. His shot did get more. Uh, his wrist shot got a bit better. So that's good. At least that's improving. But yeah, um, other than that, not much change here. Uh, Morrison still with 11 points of overall growth. Still in the lead. Other than that, not too much other change. Jacuzzi is still at the same. Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully he makes up the 70 overall by this year or at, after the jumps in the offseason. All right, so here we are at the deadline. Um, there's uh, a lot to be desired. That's that's for sure. There's a lot to be desired in our game right now. We're not, we don't have enough shutdown, which is very odd considering we kind of moved back into that realm. Great defensive forwards. Pretty damn good defensive core. Yeah, maybe Dumba's not the best, but... I don't know. I'm going to put a little bit on Gibson. I think he's severely underachieving on this team. Those stats should be way better. I know that he's not incredible, but he's 86 overall. And he's got a good defensive core to work with. This is not a bad defensive core. Oh, good. Bokefist crew. Oh, I didn't even, didn't even notice. Good. Okay. Well, I think a bit of it is morale, but I do think there is some natural growth in there. So that's good. Yeah. Maybe move this guy back off the power play. I don't know. Or maybe move Couture back up to the top unit. Does seem to be doing well. I, I don't know. I like what Erickson's bringing. What's he done power play? Only nine points on the power play. And we did bring him up. Let's see. Since this guy was on the second year the whole time, still in the eight. Eh. I don't know. I feel like it should be good enough. They got three passes. They got Erickson to pass. Mitchell, Lombardi kind of shooters. These two guys are passers as well. I don't know. Again, maybe maybe I'm expecting too much, but I don't know. When you look at our team, this looks like a great team. So I don't I don't think I'm expecting too much. But need a bit more. And I'm I'm not moving up Tonev until he's listed as, you know, a first liner. I mean, I could move him up. I don't know. Just, yeah. Niederreiter, well, m most of Niederreiter is really underwhelming this year. 36 points by this point. You should have way more. So, I don't know. Do we go for a rental? I mean, what then? If so, who moves out? Where do we put the rental? What are we going for? I don't know. I just do not know. Well, we got Couture with one year left. Need a rider as one year left, so. Hmm. What do we do? I I'm at a loss, guys. I, I really am. I'm not too sure what else I could do to kind of get this team to work. Trying a lot of different combinations here, and we haven't found that the gold yet. We're we're still we're we just need that. You you see it like you can see it like when they kind of turn that corner and like really start to to come to life you can really see it in their performances and with how good of players that we have I mean, we've got a franchise guy here you know we got mitchell who's you know starting to get better it's kind of weird he's got really really good awareness but he doesn't seem to get a whole lot of assists <sighs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know guys so i'm gonna need some help with that and do we make some trades here maybe all right at least our first line are no longer minuses so that's good these guys are still pluses. Top six are, yeah, they're pluses. I mean, it seems that we're kind of getting better, but goaltender, meh, to say the least. 
Huh. All right, well, deadline. Trades to make. Who moves out and what do we go for? That's that's what we that's what we need to decide right now. If we want to make a trade, who moves out and what kind of player do we go for? We got nowhere, no one close to point a game, which I thought we would. So I thought Lombardi was going to have like close to point a game, but we're just not able to seem to get him going. We we really need that just pure, pure, pure playmaker to work with him, I guess, because this guy's seen. I don't know. It's still kind of again, again early. We're still kind of learning how everyone's going to play. But yeah. All right, so let me know about that, and let me know if I should switch uh, McArdle to a two-way forward instead of keeping him as a power forward, just to see, because he takes a lot of shots. He's not seeming to capitalize on him, even though he's got a great shot. Would he be better as a two-way forward? We could try it, see how it works. All right, guys, well, we're going to end it right here, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know about all the things that I mentioned, including trade ideas. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one.